September 11th, 2001. It's hard to believe it's been 19 years since that fateful day when our country and our city was attacked by cowardly terrorists. When the dust finally settled in the days that followed, the toll on the FDNY was unfathomable. 343 brave souls gave their all and made the supreme sacrifice. Every year since then, on the anniversary of 9-11, our entire department comes together at various ceremonies and events to keep our promise to never forget. The first memorial event actually takes place a day or two before 9-11 at the World Trade Center Memorial Wall in the lobby of FDNY headquarters. At this solemn ceremony, we honor the active and retired members who have succumbed to World Trade Center related illnesses and pay respect to their loved ones. A plaque bearing the names of those who have passed over the previous year are installed on the wall and a single white rose is placed in their memory. Sadly, it was necessary to expand the size of the wall this year to accommodate the future names of FDNY members that will pay the ultimate price due to their exposure to the toxins while working at the rescue and recovery effort at Ground Zero. On 9-11, we start the day early in the morning with a wreath placing ceremony at the Fireman's Monument on Riverside Drive in Manhattan. A short time later, at that same site, a group of Bronx firefighters read the 343 names, ranks, and unit designations of each member lost on that terrible day. The most significant aspect of this event, however, is the notable absence of media and elected official participation. Since its inception, it has been a completely organic 9-11 remembrance coordinated by FDNY members, for FDNY members, and for the 9-11 families. Over the course of the morning, off-duty and retired FDNY members attend memorials and church services at numerous locations throughout the city. They also pay their respects at the firehouses, EMS stations, and FDNY facilities to which our fallen members were assigned. A simple breakfast or lunch spread on the apparatus floor brings active and retired members together with our 9-11 families and provides yet another opportunity to share some stories and keep the memories alive. A department-wide tribute takes place at every firehouse and EMS station throughout the city where a moment of silence is held in observance of the times the plane struck each tower and the Pentagon, crashed in the fields of Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and the time each tower collapsed. Every on-duty member bows their heads in remembrance of the precious lives that were lost at those locations. It is also a time that allows our on-duty members to take time to reflect on the significance of the day and what it means to the FDNY. Some of our members are drawn to the name reading ceremony sponsored by the 9-11 Memorial and Museum at the World Trade Center site. Throughout the day, you can find them gathering around the reflecting pools near the names of the FDNY members that are inscribed on the surrounding walls. Finally, at sunset, our members turn out en masse to another grassroots ceremony organized by the FDNY Pipes and Drum Band outside the quarters of Engine 10 and Ladder 10 adjacent to the World Trade Center site. A fitting end to an emotional day. Our legendary band leads us in hymn, song, and cheer as a tribute to the FDNY members we lost that day and a promise of brighter days ahead. The tradition of FDNY members attending these 9-11 services and events epitomizes how our department honors the sacrifices made, the lives lost, and our commitment to never forget. Along with the 343 from the FDNY, we also take time on 9-11 to remember the 37 from the PAPD and the 23 from the NYPD lost that day. They were not just heroes for our city, but were America's heroes as well. As first responders, they were the protectors of our homeland. Day and night, they served our city's communities, responding to fires and emergencies with courage and dedication, 
no matter the type of call, no matter who it was for. They were well trained and prepared to handle whatever came their way. Nineteen years ago, when the bell sounded, without hesitation, they responded to the call. I am confident and proud to say that first responders all across the country would do the same today in a heartbeat. As the greatest nation on this planet, every proud American owes a debt of gratitude to all our first responders to take a moment today to say thank you and we will never forget. Thank you, stay healthy, and stay safe.